get off to on Friday? Oh, I, I think I think our, our start was was great. It, was, it it took me by surprise. I didn't think we were going to. Frankly, I didn't think we would perform that well. There were some people I, I just knew they had the stuff together. But a lot of times it takes two or three meets to to pull it together and do well. And and, and everybody seems to rise to the occasion. So I'm really pleased. And uh, you know our, our, our season's kind of a funny one. And as your kids just get back from uh, from vacation and then hop in a meet the first weekend, that's that's uh, that's a bit in the tough side, but they apparently were keeping in shape over break and, and uh, did a great job. Now, Mike was about a half inch from getting that national qualifying in pole vault. Do you expect him to do that in, in the coming weeks? Well, Mike Arnold uh, has done a great job in the pole vault, certainly last summer, and in, in fact, his season last, you know, until almost, uh, well, until almost uh, September. And uh, but for him to bounce back and do that well, he's been struggling a little bit in practice, and he's just so hungry, he wants to do so well. But it's nice to see how that turned out this time. And he's, he is just a just a just half an inch or so away from from getting a national qualifying mark. At least one to get him in the list. And the, the good part for me is I watch that, and it's not someone going to sneak over the bar or sneak over a bar. He, he, he's someone with potential to uh, to be a player at the national level. You know, and now just time will tell. I know as a coach, you probably take every season individually, but is indoor more to gear up for outdoor, or how do you look at that? Well, do we, we've, it, it depends. In years past, we, we've we been a very good indoor team, and uh, when we head outdoors, uh, it's sometimes it's tough with weather, or or we've done a pretty good job indoors, and the kids are maybe a little flat, and when we have bad weather, we don't have a place to go back in, inside, and so that's a bit of a disadvantage, where indoors has, has traditionally been an advantage for us, because we have a Beautiful track and to, to work on. Uh, I think it just depends. And, and this year, the, the quite honestly, the women's team will probably be rather weak in, indoors. I mean, we have some certainly have some good performers, but but we don't have the, the bodies. But I have a few uh, kids coming back for their senior year, the last season outdoors, who've used up all their elig eligibility indoors. And uh, so I think the women's team may be better outdoors. And, and the guys, uh, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. After four months of just training. Um, how excited was everyone to get going last week? Apparently, they were really excited because they they, they, they uh, put their foot to the metal and, and you know uh, we, off we went. So I was I was really pleased to see that. With the surprise the start that you guys had, does that raise your expectations for how uh, the outcome of the season is going to be from before? I mean, from like what you thought Thursday maybe. Sometimes I'd rather be a conservative coach and say I think we're just not so good. You know, and I'd like to play it that way. I'd rather be the underdog a little bit. But no, I, I guess I, to be honest, I, we're, we're better than I, I thought we we might be. I was I was a little afraid. You know, and I thought that, we, you know, we, we'd lost a number of people on both sides, and and uh, yeah, I lost a couple of recruiting battles we didn't want to lose. Anyway, so I, I, was, I was I was nervous, and, and I, I'm it's, it's really refreshing to see that we did did this well this weekend, and we have a long ways to go, but it's a great start.